This month, KVOA is celebrating its 70th anniversary. From year to year, a lot has changed here at KVOA. Familiar faces have come and gone. The station here has grown and evolved right along with you and Southern Arizona. News 4 Tucson's Chorus Nylander gives us a look at where we've been and how far we've come through the years. Today, we're going back to the 2010s. The past decade, we've seen a lot of advancements here at KVOA. New, flashier sets, better graphics. We've also seen cell phones and social media become an essential part of daily news gathering. Rise and shine, you two. It's going to be a beautiful day in Tucson. KVOA entered 2010 ready for the many changes ahead. A new world with news at everyone's fingertips and more viewing options than ever before. You know, whether it's TV or OTT, streaming TV, it's come a long way. It didn't even exist when I started here. KVOA began adding more hours of news than ever before, a 4 p.m. newscast, weekend newscast, and multiple news set changes. It became clear how important our role is as Tucson saw one of its darkest days, January 8, 2011. Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was shot but survived. Six people were killed. We'll take you inside this much-anticipated memorial. The years that followed, KVOA helped contribute to the creation of the Embrace, a memorial honoring the victims of the tragedy. In 2011, KVOA promoted Kathy Batby to news director, who has led the newsroom to this day. As KVOA entered the next decade, the COVID-19 pandemic struck, a situation like the station had never seen before. We would do Zoom meetings with clients to get the message out. You're working in your living room. You didn't really have a home office set up. You didn't have a plan for the home office. In 2021, our current owners, Allen Media Group, took over the station, and soon after, Peter O'Brien became the general manager. Under his leadership today, KVOA is Southern Arizona's most watched news, much like it was for most of its 70-year history. We couldn't be where we are today without those that came before. Encouraging that in the time I've been gone to see how well the station has done, how successful it's been. Just looking at those old pictures, you can see how far we've come and how, how many changes there are. An amazing feat. It's amazing feat for how long it's, you know, had a number one status. It's an amazing to walk around and see the people that were here when my dad was here. They're still here. They're still committed to being a part of this beautiful station. And that's where our look through the years comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed going on that journey with us. And here's to many more anniversaries for KVOA's legacy. For News for Tucson, I'm Cor Snylander.